on the device. Okay. It actually creates a single sign-on token so that there's an encrypted way to authenticate the user as being genuine and for real, but uh, but you have no risk of the credentials being stolen from the device. Okay. So do they have to log in every time they... No. So that token is persistent. does that. Okay. Cool. I'm on the Wi-Fi here. So this is an example of what it'll look like. You got it? Yeah. There you go. Is that focus that good? Go ahead and talk about it. We've got a blackboard option for iPhone. This is it. Right there. So it, it very much is a solution for accessing information on the go. Uh, you can get alerts as to when course content is updated, when new grades are added to the gradebook, when new announcements or calendar items are added to Blackboard. All of that information is provided to you uh, as the syn synchronization happens. Let me and try you, to take a picture. All right. You can actually click it. through. Last you want the last one? Okay. Oh. Download the app. Just download the app for free. Okay. Enter the URL of their Blackboard server, whatever URL you use to log in with. They'll be prompted for the username and password. And as I was just saying, the password is not stored on the device. It actually uh, creates a single sign-on token that uh -huh. is persistent. So they'll never be prompted for the password again, but the password for the student is not cached on the device. And so they can read their mail and they can do their chat and announcements. And their Blackboard mail, yep. Yeah, yeah that's right, Blackboard just, mail. There's a lot of different uh, capabilities provided. This is not the entire capability set of our product, mm -hmm. but it is the set of things that we think are going to be most useful to students and teachers on the go. So there's a higher level overview of everything that's new with your class. Yeah. You can click right through and go directly to that piece of content within Blackboard using Mobile Safari. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, then it's broken out into a number of different areas here. For example, you can get announcements for all your courses, Right. Uh, new content items navigate directly to that learning, content. Learning modules and things like that. Learning modules, not yet. But the actual content of the learning modules, yes. So it wouldn't be structured in the way learning modules are in the web browser. Right. But the actual content underneath there would so be. So we can still have our content. Right. So what is the, is there anything that the institution has to do, like they might do with Blackboard Sync or some of the other things in terms of turning on to enable this? So the actual underlying system that drives this is Blackboard Sync and all the same rules apply. If you don't do anything, it just works. If you want to have more control over who gets to access it and when, what they get to see, if you want reporting capabilities to see which students have accessed it and created accounts and when the last time they synchronized was, then you'd need to install what we call a building block, which is just like you develop an iPhone app for the iPhone, we have building blocks, which is our plugin framework for Black. So. Can it be, Grant, can you, can you turn it on for the iPhone app and not on for, for, for Facebook sync? Yes. Or is, okay. yes. So we plan to deliver a number of integrations using our sync platform to enable all sorts of different applications to run in all sorts of different places. Right now, we already have a Facebook app. This is our iPhone app. We plan on releasing an iGoogle widget, uh, a Yahoo plugin, and a number of other different ways to deliver Blackboard content on all sorts of different platforms. We're just not there yet. We'll get there. But, uh, so this is pulling some of the same kind of content that you'd see in the What's New module? Is that similar? What's New module, and then a little bit more than that. Yep. So I did not understand. You have already a solution for the iPhone or not? It, it's actually under review by under Apple. Review. Under review by Apple. Yep. How, how is it going to be called? How does What's the name of the application there? It's a Blackboard iPhone app. Blackboard iPhone. But you said it can't I mean, if we put a PDF on. Just a normal, if I'm on a PC and I put a, I'm building the content and I put a PDF up there, they're going to be able to see that yep. through that app.